Hello friends, welcome back to the lecture series on linear differential equations. In previous few modules, we have discussed the method of solving or calculating general solution of linear differential equations. In previous module, we discussed simultaneous linear differential equations. Again, now we go for the new topic, symmetric simultaneous equations. Symmetric simultaneous equations. So symmetric simultaneous differential equation is nothing but system of equation where we are expecting two dependent variables or two or more dependent variables in terms of independent variables. So we consider the general form of symmetric simultaneous differential equation and it is dx upon p equal to dy upon q equal to dz upon r where p, q and r these are functions of variables x, y, z where x, y and z are dependent variables. So x, y, z they are dependent variable with respect to some independent variable say t. So we have to solve this system of equations simultaneously. The required condition is we are expecting two linearly independent solutions of a symmetric simultaneous equation. So for solving symmetric simultaneous equation of the form dx upon p plus uh, dx upon p equal to dy upon q equal to dz upon r, there are mainly two different method of solvings. First one is solution by using method of grouping by using method of grouping means depending upon the situation we consider the given simultaneous differential equation dx upon p dy upon q equal to dz upon r we have to con consider two ratios or linear combination of two ratios such that it can be converted into variable separable form. So I hope you can recall that variable separable form of differential equations. So consider any two ratios, convert it into variable separable form, take the simple integration and find general solution. So we can consider any group. For example, let's take an example from the standard question paper. So if we consider the differential equation dx upon 2 times x equal to dy upon minus y equal to dz upon 4 times x y square minus 2 times z. This question asked multiple times in SPPU university question paper. So we consider if we observe given differential equation then if we equate first and second ratio it contains variable x and y only in each term. So it is easier to convert it into variable separable form. So we consider dx upon 2x is equal to dy upon minus y. This is variable separable form. So for variable separable form, we simply take integration of both sides. So th therefore, on integrating both sides, we get 1 upon 2 times integration of dx upon x equal to minus dy upon y. If we solve that integration, so this value is equal to 1 upon 2 times log y equal to minus correction here 1 upon 2 times log x equal to minus log y plus constant of integration. So we consider that constant of integration as log c1 for the sake of simplicity. So we can rewrite it as 
log of x raised to 1 by 2 plus log y equal to log c1 since log a plus log b is equal to log of a into b so we can rewrite it as root x into y and if we cancel the log from both sides we get root x into y will be the required general solution so solution number one now we need one more solution for the given symmetric simultaneous equation now if we observe this equation since it contains combination of variables x y and z so if we simplify so can we rewrite this term in linear combination is two we have to simplify ratio we taken we do from this equation we can rewrite x into y square is equal to c1 square by taking square of both sides and if we use this if we differentiate this equation so what will be the derivative so on differentiating y square into derivative of x plus 2 times xy into dy is equal to 0 so this will be the term if you rearrange the terms this implies dx equal to dy if we take this term on right hand side so we can cancel one y and take that y here it's here the differential equation we can substitute x into y square equal to c1 therefore third ratio can be rewritten as since ratio number 3 is dz is 4 times x y square minus 2 times z is 2 times z so we can rewrite it as dz upon 4 times c1 square z constant term only so we can equate it the other ratio if we equate it to ratio number one is dx upon 2x can rewrite it as dz upon 2 times c1 square minus z is equal to dx upon x on left hand side there is variable z only on right hand side variable x so it is in variable separable form therefore on integration we take the integration z upon 2 times c1 square z equal to integration of dx upon x so if we adjust the derivative of denominator so this value is minus times log of 2 times c1 square minus z equal to log of x plus constant of integration we take it as log c2 this implies if we take this log x term to the left hand side or this term to the right hand side the required general solution will be x into 2 times c1 square minus z is equal to c2 so this will be solution number 2 which is the required general solution therefore from equation 1 and 2 collectively it will form general solution of given simultaneous differential equation symmetric simultaneous differential equation so for solving examples on symmetric simultaneous equation we need to take care of the terms first simple observe dx upon p dy upon q dz upon r consider any two ratios or depending upon nature of variables present in p q and r try to observe the group 
and they then take the corresponding ratios so that you can convert any two ratios into variable separable form and take simple integration and you will get the general solution so apply the same logic for the second solution as well otherwise if there is no case of variable separable form then we can go for a method of multipliers what is method of multiplier we discuss it in next module